What we're doing is we're building a uh, falling cat robot, so to emulate the falling cat reflex, so when you take a cat upside down, we did not do this here at Carnegie Mellon, we, uh, you hold a cat upside down by its feet, and it has the ability to inertially reorient before it hits the ground, and la always land on its feet. So we're trying to build a robot that allows a mimic of that um, biological reflex in order for the cat to land on its feet. It is incredible that a cat can do this so quickly. The amount of time it takes a cat to drop from a height of, you know, say two feet, flip over and hit the ground, it's, it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seconds. We're trying to just mimic this in uh, less than a second, about three meters high. Some of the design space, what we've been calling it cat space, the space in which a cat would fall is actually been one of our most challenging problems, trying to get motors that can do it quick enough and uh, speeds that can happen fast enough in order to reorient this thing and flip it over in the amount of time a cat would be able to flip over. That is actually why if we were to translate this into um, a space application, it would actually be much easier because we wouldn't be at the mercy of 9.8 meters per second squared and uh, we would be, have all the time in the world in order to reorient. It's been a very iterative process and as you can see we're in our you know, final few weeks and we're just now uh, constructing some of the pieces and putting them together because we, we selected what we were going to do and, and how we were going to build this thing but we keep going back to the drawing board as we encounter a hurdle. We're like, oh that's not going to work in a physical model. So as far as the team aspect, it's actually been very interesting to see the iterative process. So some of us are good at simulation and the modeling aspects side of the house. And then we have the majority of the team is really good at hardware and electronics and interface. So it's been a very good complement to have elements of all the different sides of building a robot come together for design and manufacturing and simulation. The most challenging aspect of this project is probably interfacing between a simulation versus the actual building of a robot. Um, we were able to get simulations working and within, uh, within a week or so, but getting that to actually getting the values that we need in order to put into motors and, and then selection of motors and then actual building of electronics, all those steps are much, much, much harder than just simply doing a simulation.